Hi, uh, welcome to uh, the video session of end-to-end uh, -end, uh, test automation with Cypress. So I'm going to tell about Cypress, uh, what is this new tool, what it can be do, what it can do, and also uh, I will demo in some of the codes that uh, which was created, which uh, automation uh, test scripts which uh, actually was created for Cypress.io and I will demo how it has been how it will be executed. So let's uh, start with the session. So we have websites which we earlier did, which we developed in our industry test, uh, basically static based uh, websites, uh, which uh, are mainly on HTML based. But uh, currently we, the demand is high for dynamic websites like uh, using AngularJS, it is a JavaScript open source front end web application framework. So <coughs> maintained by Google. So this technology is coming up and we can see a lot of sites, a lot of commercial sites, a lot of websites being developed in AngularJS. So to uh, facilitate that technology, uh, there are a lot of uh, tools which are, which automation tools which have come into the market. Uh, one of these tools is Cypress.io. Other than this, there are tools called Protractor, then also Nightbot.js, then WebDrive.io, WebDrive.js. These are a lot of tools which are now come up, but uh, compared to, uh, you know, Protractor and Nightbot.js, Cypress.io is purely developed and its execution engine does not rely on the standard web driver module that we have. So, can we, you know, uh, use the traditional web driver to test AngularJS, uh, AngularJS application? Yes, we can, but it is a chaotic situation. So, and also the new uh, elements, where when you define an AJAX component or in an AngularJS website, there is different kind of, you know, uh, attributes uh, in this AJAX component. It's like uh, by dot model, by dot binding. Uh, by the class. So these are not identified by Selenium. So therefore, we are unable to use Selenium for AngularJS automation. So, but currently, this Selenium uh, has been used in uh, beta, uh, has been used in uh, actually Nightbot.js and also Protractor as a wrapper. So let's go on. So, uh, so to automate AngularJS applications, this, there's a new tool which have come, which is called Cypress.io. So let's move on. So you can see, can we always rely on Selenium? No, we cannot. We can rely Selenium on HTML, HTML-based web UI automation. But if we are going for AngularJS, we cannot rely on Selenium. If we are going to automate Windows applications, desktop applications, we cannot use Selenium. If we are going to automate web services, we cannot rely we cannot use uh, selenium for automation of web services so therefore selenium concentrated on one target area which is automating web ui functional test cases so let's move into uh, automation of angularjs applications there are three tools actually there are more tools so protractor is one of the tools which uses web driver but this is a wrapper which integrates extends the functionality of AngularJS automation. Then comes a very own tool, very good tool, which is very uh, actually the tool Cypress.io, which has its own execution engine and which is far more faster than Protractor and Nightwatch. Actually, Nightwatch also relies on Selenium web driver, but it's a wrapper which will handle AngularJS applications. So let's move on to the world. Welcome to the world of Cypress.io. So Cypress.io is developed uh, by uh, it's a hi all welcome uh, to the video session of uh, introducing y'all you guys to Cypress.io uh, that is end to end test automation so let's start with the session so we have AngularJS uh, which is a uh, new technology, which is a technology which has come. Uh, earlier days we have HTML-based uh, uh, 
static websites, static documents, but now there is an increased demand to create dynamic contents. So that Angular JS is a JavaScript based open source front end application framework maintained by Google. So you can see a lot of dynamic uh, components are created and it's they are in Angular JS web based solutions and it's very much attractive and also it is very much efficient if we use Angular JS solutions. So then we move into uh, the automation world uh, of how uh, we can uh, automate these uh, Angular JS websites. So, but currently Selenium is very much limited on its own. Selenium on its own, the web drive on its own is very much limited when we are trying to automate AngularJS website. The number one thing is uh, the in in, uh, in AngularJS websites uh, there is automatic loading of uh, elements uh, uh, which is which handles a, a synchronous loading and the other thing is uh, the elements Ajax components are on uh, different attributes. It's not the static uh, uh, UI elements that we get. So they are by model, by binding, by class, so by ng class, by ng model, by ng binding. So these things are not provided as located in Selenium. So therefore we have to go to another tool. So when we are automating AngularJS websites. So one of these tools is Cypress.io. So let's go there to, uh, okay. Let's go to the next slide and we can see, can we always rely on Selenium? No, Selenium only does UI automation of web-based applications, but it does not cater for AngularJS applications and also Windows desktop applications and also web services. So therefore, we have to go for any other tool to automate if we get projects, if we get if we go to an organization, we, we need to automate Windows-based applications and web services we may have to rely on another tool. So when we go to automate AngularJS applications, there are so many tools available. One is Protractor, which is a wrapper of Selenium Web Driver. Then comes to iCypress.io, which is not a wrapper, it has its own execution engine. Okay, then we, it comes Nitro.js. This is also a wrapper on the driver, which will help AngularJS automation. Right. Let's Moving to the next slide, guys. So let's uh, come to the world of Cypress.io. <coughs> so Cypress is all-in-one solution. Uh, Cypress has its own reporting mechanism. Cypress has its own interactive debugging facility, and also it uses Chai and ExpertJS as the assertion library. So it use it can be uh, integrated to many. Uh, Frameworks that is Mocha, Jasmine, and KQ Unit and Karma. So this is Cypress. It is an all-in-one solution. So what's new for an automation professional when you use Cypress? It's very simple to set up. You should have just installed Node.js in your system, and you have just to have to download this Node module, which is Cypress.io, which is very much easy to download. Just simply execute the, no, the respective command, and it's all also open source and free. So then, another thing is we don't have to use wait times. So in Selenium, we should we have to use uh, explicit waits, implicit waits, fluent waits. But in Cypress.io, we, as an automation uh, professional, when there are failed transitions, we should we should not use uh, wait times because the tool handle itself. Then we have a nice interactive test runner, which I will demo here. Uh, also, you can see fast script execution compared to Selenium, plus also to Protractor, which is using Selenium and which is an intermediate execution uh, solution. So I find I used have used Protractor, but I and also uh, Nightwatch. So I find. Uh, Cypress.io is much more faster, and also there is better debugging uh, facilities provided by the test runner of provided by Cypress.io. Nice reporting mechanism also. These are all in one package that is provided in the Cypress.io solution. <coughs> so you can see this is a demo video taken by the site. It's very easy to install and download Cypress. 
<coughs> so it's that much easy guys so the new uh, actually automate uh, the new download Cypress it's very much easy and on the go you can execute create your scripts and you can execute so it's very easy to download it's very much faster so let's move on to the next slide it's interactive script execution so once you write a cypress script and you save it say in the notepad it starts executing so this is how interactive execution works so it's very much easy we don't have to go uh, we don't have the trouble to script it and run it separately so it does the kickstart script execution then there is interactive debugging so when you run a script if there is an error you can step through the you know the executed commands and you can see that Cypress test runner saves the snapshots of each execution command it's very much easy to debug it handles itself so you don't have a trouble to go and have separate debugging commands in your code so you can see speed of execution Cypress has its own execution engine so you can see how much faster compared to other execution uh, test automation uh, tools like you know protractor it uses web driver even nightpod project it uses web driver so there are a lot of intermediate you know execution uh, kind of components which makes the execution slow but you can see how speed how fast cypress test uh, scenarios automation scenarios get executed so how i will just glance through just uh, on the coding uh, when we automate uh, through Cypress, it is uses JavaScript technology. So the describe command, there should be a describe command which tells the you know the name of the test suit. Then it uh, there is another uh, keyword which is called each, which gives the description about the test case. The c by dot c by is the object that is used by the test tool which uh, we had to uh, use it in order to uh, give us the Cypress commands. So cy.visit will actually navigate to the required parameterized site and cy.contains will find the specific uh, link text and it will click on that uh, button that which has that link text. So this is how you, we, this is a typical cypress.io test script. So limitations so far. Cypress has a good uh, kind of uh, uh, technological roadmap. So I have read some blogs. Cypress is planning to, you know, integrate with other browsers like Firefox in future. But unfortunately, it just has in integrated with Canary, Chrome, and Electron. So in the future, their roadmap is to integrate with Firefox and Edge also. So the page object model is not supported by Cypress for now, but in future they are rely they are trying to you know make create commands reusable and also page elements reusable. Then the other thing is the Cypress has a limitation on using data files. So since it's JavaScript, we are unable to use Excel as we use in the traditional web driver based uh, Selenium based uh, framework. So but in other in tools like Protractor, we can use JSON files. So here, there's a limitation on reading data files. Since this Cypress.io is still in a premature stage, but they are rapidly developing. So then we are unable to connect with third-party tools for now with the current versions. So this is uh, evaluation on Cypress. So let's move into some of the demos. So number one, I have a demo on Angular example 2 which does is it open you just have to click double click so what you have to create a script and you know after coding the script you have to put it in the integrations folder right in Cypress so this is a script which will go to the angular chest.org site and it will go through the sample component it will interact it will automate these functionalities. you can see how fast a cyber getting executed and you can see the executed commands and if you go you can see also debug and see the how uh, this site the, the snapshots of each of these commands 
the, which was executed. So this is Cypress. So then I can go to the Cypress provides you hybrid automation. It just just it does not just automate engages website. You can also automate static websites. So let's go to some of the you know static websites. I will just go through some of it. So this is one of uh, automation scripts that I have coded. So it goes to Google. It's not a AngularJS website, but it goes to Google, right? So it it's just a navigation sample script. So I put cy.visit. So you and it, it's not visible the technical way, the technical command that I put. It gives a human readable command so that it, it, everyone can understand. So let's move into another uh, scenario. Just have to give a simple click. So let's go into this one. This is also a uh, non angular JS website. So I am just trying to, you know, uh, automate the login function here. So we have just visited bassy.lk. Okay, so currently, so you can see the sign, uh, sign in button is not visible. So what we have to do is, uh, they have changed the website. So there you can see uh, how the error has been, you know, there is error handling. So it expects sign in button, but it's not received. So you can see how uh, user friendly the errors are being triggered in this scenario. So this is how we can do automation with Cypress. Uh, I will show you some of the codings. So I'm opening the location where I have. So once you have a Cypress, it's your users folder Cypress. Uh, once you download your Cypress, it creates an integration folder where you have to deposit your scripts. So when we go into uh, one of our scripts, you can see that this particular script uh, goes to google.lk, which is a non-AngularJS uh, website. So we can automate both application platform, non-Angular and Angular, with Cypress. So you can see that my test scenario is uh, Kushan first test, and it, the test case is go to Google go to Google that is the test case name so this is how the script in Cypress so you can see the, the script that I have created for angularjs.org site so ngcy.ng visit visits for the visits the given URL and cy.ng so the, we, now your name component is a Ajax component which has ng model so what you do is cy.ng and you give the uh, type of the Ajax uh, uh, the, the, the class uh, this is the ng model the, the attribute so we type as cy.ng model and we give the name of that component and I just specify that you have to perform type so this is how a typical Cypress um, uh, automation script works so thank you guys Hope you all enjoy the video presentation. Test, 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 test.